Here is uh, what Denzel Ward expects the atmosphere to be like um, with that Steelers game Monday night in Heinz Field. I think it's going to be a, a playoff atmosphere. I mean, that's the type of game that it is. Uh, we could go in there and focus all on Pittsburgh, and we got to go in and try to find a get a win. But, uh, yeah, I know it's going to be a crazy atmosphere, though. What are your memories like of playing Ben? If if I'm right, I think you had a, got off to a great start um, against him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, my first uh, rookie game. Remember getting, uh, going against Antonio Brown, getting two interceptions on Ben. So that would definitely be nice to, to repeat that this next game. But uh, main focus is going in, doing our job, and trying to get a win. Yeah, it's a lot of excitement. But like you said, the main thing, we got to uh, take care of our business and, and do what we're supposed to do. And then everything else, I mean, take care of itself uh, come the end of the year. So, Mary Kay, we've already talked about it. This is, in essence, a playoff game. Now, you know, the next two regular season games are playoff games for the Browns. Well, you're right about that, but we have to keep one thing in mind, and that is the fact that by the time the Browns get to Pittsburgh, it could essentially be over for them in terms of making the playoffs. So the only way that it remains an absolute must-win game for them to make the playoffs is, uh, is if the Bengals lose to the Chiefs and if the Ravens lose to the Rams. Now, why are those two things within the realm of possibility because both of those opponents are 11 and four the kansas city chiefs have won eight straight games now that game both of those games are at home for the ravens and for the bengals but still it's going to be a, a really really tough out for the bengals to try to beat those surging chiefs they again they've won eight straight they are as hot as they can be travis kelsey is coming back for this game i mean they they beat the steelers down 36 to 10 even without travis kelsey so now they've got their number one or number two go-to guy back uh you know it's always tyreek and and travis so they're going to have him back it's going to be a really really difficult victory for the bengals to achieve same thing for the ravens the ravens are completely decimated with injuries this season and they've got the rams coming to town now it's at home that should help them they might possibly have Lamar Jackson back, but he's still struggling with that ankle injury that he hurt against the Cleveland Browns. Uh, so who knows if he'll even be himself. But you never know. If he can get something going with, um, you know, with Marquise Brown, with Mark Andrews, uh, you know, sometimes games get out of hand in a, in a certain way. But those guys are so beat up in the secondary. So, you know, there is a good chance that the Ravens are going to lose and that the Bengals are going to lose. But if they don't, uh, if the Bengals win over the Chiefs, then the tri I don't want to say that it's completely meaningless, but it just is not going to have the same punch for the Browns to try to go into Pittsburgh. Yeah, fair enough. And the other thing to keep in mind, the Chiefs are still trying to lock up the number one seed in the AFC, which is the only one that gets that one week by. So the Chiefs have plenty to play for. You know, they're still chasing that um, – that buy, that week off, if you will, the first week of the playoffs. So uh, a, a meaningful game for Kansas City as well. Yeah, and that that's important. I mean, if they didn't have anything to play for and they had everything locked up at that point, then, you know, sometimes you start to rest your starters and you don't know exactly who's going to show up in that game. But, um, but that's, you know, that's not going to happen. The, the Bengals are not going to get that lucky. They're going to have a full complement of players and they're going to come in there, you know, like you said, with so much to play for, wanting that bye week. And it's, I think it's going to be a pretty good matchup because I do think that if, if the Bengals are on top of their game, then they should be able to, you know, get into a little bit of a shootout with the Chiefs. But I don't know. I mean, the Chiefs are so strong right now that they almost seem unbeatable.